All right, so here we have another optimization problem. Uh, I've got several of them I'm working. You can see this is problem 10 here. Uh, uh, check out my other videos, and if you like them, give me a like, share, and subscribe. And the uh, these problems here, you can find them on my channel. Look in the derivatives play playlist, and you'll see them in there. Just scroll through there, and you'll see them. All right, so find the dimensions of the rectangle of largest area that can be inscribed in a circle of radius r. All right, so they're not giving us any uh, values for anything. We're going to have all variables in here. We got a radius r. Uh, so our answer is going to be in terms of variables. All right, so let's just let's draw a picture. So. I look at this. Let's see. I don't know how good of a circle I can draw. That's good enough. All right, and we want to inscribe a rectangle. Okay, that's the best I can do. All right, so let's label this thing. We'll label this X. And uh, I mean. You could put the x, y axis out here or here or down here or up here, but I mean, just put it in the middle. It makes it a lot easier. And then we'll label this distance from here to here from the x axis to this point here. We'll call that y. Let me see if I can maybe squeeze that out here. All right, so we've, we've got to come up with an equation. Okay, and we know that this distance here, that's r, that's the radius of the circle. All right, so let's see, what do we know? Well, this right here, that's a right angle. So I know that r squared is equal to x squared plus y squared. And, okay, so let's see what we can do with that. All right, so what do I want to maximize? I want to maximize the area of this rectangle. Well, we know the area of the rectangle, the area of the rectangle is length times width, okay? Well, the distance from here to here is 2x. See, this is x also, so x plus x is 2x. So it's this side, okay, this side here, times the length of this side. Well, that's y, and that's also y, so that's times 2y. So the area is 4xy. All right, so I want to get everything in terms of one variable, and then I want to take the derivative of it. So let's let's solve this thing for y, and then I can plug that into here, and everything will be in terms of x. So I get r squared minus x squared is equal to y squared. So y is the square root of r squared minus x squared, and it's positive. I know the radius. I know I know the distance from here to here is positive. All right. So that's going to give me an area of 4x times the square root of r squared minus x squared. All right, so I need to take the derivative of this. Now remember, our variable is x. r is a constant. Okay, r, we treat r like a number. All right, so the derivative, a prime, well, we've got to use the product rule. So it's the derivative of the first function, which is 4 times the second function, okay, plus the derivative of this function, square root of r squared minus x squared. Now there's a shortcut. I know you may do this, change it to a 1 half power and use the chain rule, but there's a, sh there's a shortcut for taking the derivative of a square root. Uh, I'll show you real quick right here, but if you want to see more on it, you can check out my, uh, I got a video on my channel 
and just search my channel for shortcut for finding the derivative of a square root and you and you can watch it all right so here I've got two square root r squared minus x squared whenever you're taking the derivative of square root it's two times whatever that square root is and then in the numerator it's the derivative of what's underneath the square root so the derivative of r squared is zero because that's just a constant and then minus 2x well that derivative is negative 2x okay so that's the derivative of the square root times this function 4x so times 4x and so that's going to give me a prime is equal to and that's going to be uh, 4, 4 square root r squared minus x squared minus 4x over the square root of r squared minus x squared. Okay, see so these twos here cancel. Okay, all right, so now we have to take this thing, set it equal to zero, and solve for x. So I've got. 4 square root r squared minus x squared minus 4x over the square root of r squared minus x squared equals 0. So if I move this over, that's going to give me 4 square root. Now let's see, let me, let's just keep going down. I don't know if I have enough room over there on the side. So that's going to be 4 square root of r squared minus x squared equals 4x over the square root of r squared minus x squared. All right, so to solve this, well, we can look at this as being over 1, and we can cross multiply. So that's going to give me 4 times r squared minus x squared equals 4x. Okay. All right, and you can see here the fours cancel. Those go out, so I get r squared minus x squared equals. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Okay, the twos cancel. Okay, sorry about this, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna redo the video. We're gonna correct it. X times x is x squared. I called it. Okay. There we go. All right. And so that's x squared. Move this over. I get r squared is equal to 2x squared. And so divide by 2. That's going to give me x squared is equal to r squared over 2. So x is equal to r over the square root of 2. That's x. Okay, And if we want to, we can rationalize the denominator. That's going to be r square root of 2 over 2. Okay, I'm assuming you still remember how to rationalize the denominator. All right, so now we've got x. Okay, We want the dimensions of this, of this uh, rectangle. So now I need to find y. So y is equal to, well, I take this and plug it in for x. Well, this one right here is going to be easier to square than this. So I'm going to plug this in for x. So that's going to give me the square root of r squared minus r over square root of 2 squared. So y is equal to the square root of r squared minus, and then that's going to be r squared over 4. So y is equal to, uh, no, I'm sorry. I'm not having a good good day right now, am I? Square root of 2 squared is 2. And so this is going to be the square root of r squared over 2. And the square root comes all the way down. And that's going to be r over the square root of 2 if I split it up, which if we rationalize the denominator, that's going to be r square root of 2 over 2. So there's x right here. There's y. 
Now, I need the dimension of this thing. So let me erase this right here. So remember, I've got x is r square root of 2 over 2, and y is r square root of 2 over 2. Okay? But that's only x is just the distance from here to here. Y is just the distance from here to here. So let's get our final answer. This total distance, or you know, this is x and this is x also. So we've got 2x is equal to 2 times r square root of 2 over 2. So I'm plugging this in for x. So that's r square root of 2. So that's the that's this distance, and then 2y, plug this in for y, so that's 2 times r square root of 2 over 2, which is r square root of 2. And there's this distance. So the rectangle, the largest area, is a square. All right, so sorry about the mess ups, but you know it happens. So give me a like, share, and subscribe, and thanks for watching.